budget deficits and inflation an economy is having a budget deficit what are the policies that the government can adopt to correct the deficit as you know that the government has to pay its bill just as we do for example we are paying different bills electricity bills gas bills water bill and so on similarly that the government has to pay its bill and you know that if the government has a budget deficit it means that when the government revenue is less than the government expenditures if government revenues are less than government expenditures we can call it a deficit budget there are two ways we can pay for our spending number one raise revenue we will work somewhere and we will get money borrowing we will borrow from a friend from a neighbor or from someone else and by this way we can pay our uh, particular bill so these are the two options we have if you have an electricity bill or a water bill or a gas bill what you will do you will work somewhere else and you will get money by working you will get money then you can pay your bill this is one way the second way is that if you are not working or if you have no money at hand what you will do you will borrow from someone else the government also enjoys these two options i mean to say that the government can uh, raise revenue or the government can borrow from the public or from the different uh, international organization or different donor agencies it means that the government can raise its revenue by levying taxes or go into debt by issuing government bonds so these are the two important policies there is a third option as well that is known as create money the government can create money and use it to pay for the goods and services it buy so these are the three important options a government can adopt number one raise revenue by levying taxes number second uh debt by issuing government bonds and number third money creation methods of financing government spending are described by an expression called the government budget constraint this is the government budget constraint equation which states that the government budget deficit is equal to excess of government spending g over tax revenue government expenditures minus tax revenue so we can get the sum of the change in monetary base change in mv monetary base and the change in government bonds held by the public b denotes bonds held by the public so look at this equation actually this equation states that the government budget deficit is equal to the excess of government spending over tax revenue and this equals the sum of change in the monetary base and the change in government bonds held by the public to see what the government budget constraint means in practice let us look a case in which only government purchases purchase is a 100 million supercomputer suppose if the government succeeded to convince the water that such a computer is worth paying for it so it will probably be able to raise the 100 million and tax to pay for it so if the government succeeded to convince the people then the people would be ready to pay the amount if this is the case we can say that budget deficit is equal to zero why because the government expenditures are 100 million dollars and the government can collect its revenue by the amount 100 million dollars so we can say that g is equal to t in other words we can say that the government has a balanced budget the government budget constraint tell us that no issue of money or bond is needed to pay for the computer but the budget is balanced now suppose if taxpayers think that the supercomputers are too expensive okay if the citizens are if the uh, if the citizens are thinking that these supercomputers bought by the government are very expensive and 
they refuse to pay taxes for them then the budget constraint indicates that the government must pay for it so from where the government will collect the money then the government itself will pay the money by selling 100 million of new bonds to the public or by printing 100 million of currency to pay for the computer so in either case the budget constraint is satisfied it means that the 100 million deficit 100 million dollars deficit is balanced by changing in the stock of government bonds held by the public so change this delta b is equal to 100 million or by changing in the monetary base then this is equal to 100 million so from this discussion we can conclude two important facts number one if the government deficit is financed by an increase in uh, in bond holding by the public there is no effect on the monetary base and hence on the money supply and hence on the money supply but on the other hand if the deficit is not financed by increased bond holding by the public the monetary base and the money supply increase there are several ways to understand why a deficit leads to an increase in the monetary base when the public bonds bilance holdings do not increase the simplest case is when the government treasury has a legal right to issue currency to finance its deficit so financing the deficit is then very straightforward what the government will do so very simply the government just pays for the spending that is an excess of the tax revenue with new currency because this increase in currency adds directly to the monetary base so the monetary base rises and the money supply with it through the process multiple deposit creations in the united states and in uh, other current uh, other economies as well the government does not have the right to issue currency this is also another issue that because uh, the government does not have the right to issue currency to pay for its bill so in this case the government must finance its deficits by first issuing bonds to the public to acquire the extra funds to pay its bill yet if these bonds do not end up with the hands of the public the only alternative is that they are purchased by the central bank so this is the uh, another strategy that they will purchase if the public uh, is not entrusted to buy the government bond then the central bank will purchase for the government bonds not to end up in the hands of the public the central bank must conduct an open market purchases which will lead to an increase in the monetary base and in the money supply so this method of financing government spending is known as monetizing the debt so simply we can say that financing a persistent deficit by money creation will lead to sustained inflation